Hello everyone, Ray Spray Wash Pro. I'm going to show you all a little experiment today. And our premise is that warm bleach works quicker than cold bleach. We see a lot of questions about this that does it take longer to clean a roof in cold temperatures or can I clean when it's below a certain temperature? And so I wanted to actually show you proof positive that the warmer the bleach is, the faster it works. So earlier in the day, I made two solutions. They're about a 50% solution. I brought one inside to my office, which is heated and cooled. I left one outside in the ambient air. Now, the one that reads 50 degrees Fahrenheit has been outside all day. The one that reads 73 Fahrenheit has been inside. I've also written the temperatures in Celsius just under those numbers. And we're going to start this experiment at nine o'clock. What we'll do is introduce about half an ounce of apple wash to these solutions and we're going to stir it up and let it sit for a while. We'll see how long it actually takes to the color to remove on this and if there's a difference between the warm bleach and the cooler bleach because everything else, the volume the percentage of the solution, the percentage of apple wash is remaining constant. Now we are going to switch to a time-lapse photography uh, to speed this process up, which will be occurring here in just a moment. Well, there we have it. I think we've got proof positive that a warmer bleach solution works faster than a cooler bleach solution. The warmer bleach destroyed the organic pigment of the apple wash in a much more rapid fashion than the cooler bleach solution did. Another little interesting tidbit of knowledge on this is we took final temperatures of this, and you can see that the final temperature was actually hotter than the beginning temperature on that. Part of the reason for that is that bleach is an oxidizer. And as it's working against that organic pigment, it's actually generating heat. So that's one of the reasons that we see this rise in temperature. It was about five and a half degrees on one and on the cooler mixture uh, 3.6 degrees. So not a huge rise in temperature, but it did show some activity there as the bleach was working. Now, if we were to continue this experiment on, the cup on the right, which has not fully bleached out yet, would eventually lose all of its pigmentation. Cooler temperatures does not mean that bleach doesn't work. It just means that bleach is working a little bit slower than it does at warmer temperatures. Hey, thank you so much for your time and watching this Spray Wash Pro video. Hope it's helped to uh, explain a few different things about the action of bleach and sodium hypochlorite. Remember, if we can ever help you answer any questions, feel free to drop us an email at info at spraywashpro.com. Hey, thanks so much for being a member and we really appreciate you.